Good morning. What is going on? And and wh where's Mr. Bird? Oh, this is my friend Susie. So come with me. Let's let's see what's going on. Susie, yeah. wh what's going on? What's wrong? I didn't listen. Oh, you you didn't listen? No. Well, well, what happened? I left the door open. Oh, you you left the door open? Well, yeah. Why why are you sad? Because Mr. Bird flew away. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bird flew out the door. Yeah. Oh. Susie, you don't have to be upset and sad. I don't? No. No, Mr. Bird, I'm sure he knows his way back home. Really? He does. He does. But, you know, this reminds me of our Bible story today. Really? It does. It's about some other doors that were left open. <gasps> Somebody else opened a door? They did. Do you want to know about it? Yeah. Okay. Well... Our story today is about a man named Paul and another man named Silas. Paul and Silas? Yes. And Paul and Silas would go around telling everyone about Jesus. I like Jesus. I do too. And so there were other people that didn't like Jesus. <gasps> That's and, not good. No, and they didn't want Paul and Silas to go tell other people about Jesus. Oh, no. So you know what they did? <gasps> They arrested him, and they put him in jail. No! Yes, they did. And, you know, jail isn't a happy place. It's kind of a sad place. Ooh. But Paul and Silas didn't cry. They didn't? No. They were happy. Happy? And they were so happy that they started to sing. <gasps> I love to sing. You love to sing? Yep. Well, Paul and Silas wanted to make sure that nobody was going to stop them about telling them about Jesus. Wow. And so all night long in jail, they sang about Jesus. They sang they in did. jail? And you know what happened? What? All the other prisoners heard about Jesus wow. just because they were singing. How cool. I know, right? And then something even cooler happened. <gasps> what? God heard them singing. And you know what he did? What? He shook the ground. <gasps> he shook the walls. Like an earthquake? It was. And the <sighs> doors busted open. Wow. And their chains broke off. Cool. I know, right? And so they were free to get up and, and leave. And fly away? And fly away. Yes. And there was a guard there. And when he saw those doors open, I bet he was crying just like you were. Like he was in trouble. Yes, because he knew that if all of those prisoners were gone, he would be in big trouble. Oh, no. So he was sad. But then guess what? <gasps> what? Paul said, none of us have left. We're all still here. Cool. And you know what happened? What? What? That guard wanted to know all about Jesus. Oh, my. Just like we want to learn more about Jesus. I like stories about Jesus. Every time we hear a message from God or, or we hear a Bible story, we learn more and more about Jesus. I like that. And we learn that no matter what, if we start feeling sad, we just have to sing and worship and praise God. And that joy and happiness will come inside. So we just have to sing. We just have to sing. Yes. Do you want to sing a song? Yes. Okay. What would you like to sing? Mm, let me think. Let me think. Ah, I know. If you're happy and you know it. Oh, I like that one. Do you guys know that one? Great. All right. Go ahead, Susie. Mm, sing. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. 
If, if you're, you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Great job, Susie. Thank you so much for coming and, and getting to, to share the Bible story and hearing more about Jesus. Because I want you to remember, and I've been telling all my friends, that Jesus is my best friend. And he's your best friend, too. My best friend. Yes. Yes. So I'm so glad that you all got to come and, and um, just spend some time with us. So we're going to go. Susie, let's go outside. Let's see if we can find Mr. Bird. Oh, good idea. All right. We will see you guys next Sunday. Bye, guys. everybody miss gina here welcome to one kids i am so excited that you are joining us this sunday morning i have a question for all of you i want you to raise your hand if you like superheroes do any of you like superheroes raise your hand at home yeah some of you do who is your favorite superhero is it superman or batman or captain america well, we're going to play a little game to kick off our service this morning. I have got a couple of clues, and based off of those clues, I want you at home to try to guess what superhero it is that I'm talking about. So I'll tell you three clues, and then wherever you are, I just want you to shout out as loud as you can who you think the superhero is. Cool, cool? Okay, first superhero, first clue. He sometimes races Superman. Clue number two, he is good friends with the Green Lantern. And clue number three, his superpower is amazing speed. Do you know who it is? It's the Flash! The Flash, he runs so fast, I think that he can like run around the world or something like that, I don't know. Did you get it right? Okay, we have one more superhero to guess. Are you ready? Clue number one. Him and his partner together are called the dynamic duo. Clue number two. The police commissioner shines a spotlight in the sky when the city needs help. And clue number three. His real name is Bruce Wayne. Hmm. Do you know who it is? It's Batman! Did you guys all get Batman? Yeah? I think I even knew that one. I've, I've heard of Batman before. Man, superheroes are pretty cool, right? What are some things that superheroes do? We already mentioned a, a couple of things, like the Flash, he can run super, super fast. Some superheroes, they have the power of invisibility, meaning they can be in a room without anybody seeing them. Some superheroes have super strength, and like the Flash, some are lightning fast. One thing that superheroes pretty much all have in common though is that they have one main job and that's to protect, right? Batman, he protects the people of Gotham City and Superman, he protects the people of Metropolis and the Avengers, well, they protect basically the whole world, I think. Superheroes, they protect people. That's what they do. Well, did you know that Jesus is better than any superhero? That means that Jesus will protect us way more than any superhero could. This month, we've been in a series called Go. Where did we say we're going? Well, we said we're going out into the world to live for Jesus and to tell other people about him. And last week, we talked about putting on the full armor of God. The armor of God, it protects us just like superheroes protect us from harm and, and they stop villains from hurting people. But God, he does way more than that. Here is our big idea for today. God will protect my heart and my mind. 
Let's go ahead and put some motions to that to help everybody remember, okay? So when I say God, you're going to point up. When I say we'll protect, you're gonna put both hands on top of your head like this. When we say my heart, take your hands and put them over your heart. And when we say my mind, point to your head, to your brain inside your mind. Cool, cool? All right, let's put it all together. God will protect my heart and my mind. Great work, everybody. So the question is, how does God protect my heart and my mind? What does that even mean? Well, today we're going to look at the story of a man named Paul. Everybody say Paul. I'll tell you more about Paul in just a minute, but right now I want you to get up and grab your Bibles and turn to the book of Philippians, which is in the New Testament, so the second half of the Bible. And we're going to be in Philippians chapter four. Go run and grab your Bibles. Remember what we said our Bibles were last week? The sword of the spirit. So let's go and let's get our Bibles and let's open them up to Philippians chapter four. We are going to read verses four through nine this morning. And in this chapter, Paul, the guy that we're gonna learn about, he actually wrote this book, he wrote Philippians, and he tells us some pretty important things in this chapter. All right, let's go ahead and read verses four through nine. Verse four says, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. So there are a few things that stand out to me from these verses. Did you hear in verse four, that very first verse that we read, where Paul says, rejoice in God always? He even said it a second time. Do you know what the word rejoice means? Rejoice, it, it means to feel or show joy. Now here's a question for you. Where do you think Paul was when he wrote this letter, when he wrote this book of the Bible? Where do you think he was? You think he was at school? Do you think he was at home? No? Guess what? Paul actually wrote this when he was in jail. In jail? Yeah, he was in jail for telling people about Jesus. And I don't know about you, but if that happened to me, if I got put in jail for telling people about Jesus, I don't think I really would have felt like rejoicing. I wouldn't have really felt like showing joy if I got thrown into jail. But Paul, he's telling us to rejoice in the Lord always. When life is hard, it can be really difficult to be joyful like Paul is telling us to be. It can be hard to go out and live like Jesus, but it is possible. Let's read another thing that Paul has to say in this passage. If you go down to verse 11, still in chapter four, here's what it says. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Paul says, that he learned to be content. And being content, it means to be okay and at peace. 
Paul said he learned to be that way. He learned to be okay and at peace no matter what the circumstances were. So how did he do that? Well, verse 13, it tells us that it was through God, right? Now, this verse where, where it says, I can do all things, all this through Christ who gives me strength. Do you think that that, that means, you know, God would make it possible for us to shoot some crazy basketball shot or walk on the ceiling or things like that? No, that's not really what it means. What this verse means is that whatever the situation, whether good or bad, if we stay close to Jesus, Jesus will help us. And Jesus, he'll bring us joy no matter if things go our way or not. And Jesus will protect our heart and our mind. Maybe right now you're going through a tough time. I know I am. I am so tired of being at home and I miss my friends and I especially miss all of you, all of my friends at One Kids and at church. And it, it's sad because tough times happen in all of our lives, just like they did with Paul. But just like Paul, since we have Jesus in our hearts, we can still be joyful no matter what because God protects our hearts and our minds. I want you to remember that this week. If, if you start to feel, you know, kind of sad or just kind of down, maybe a little bit frustrated about whatever the situation is, you know, it could be something as small as, oh man, mom asked me to do the dishes again, or man, I just, I can't get this one thing right that I'm trying to do. Just remember that when you have Jesus in your heart, he's there to help you because he protects your heart and your mind. Would you pray with me this morning? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all of my friends who are watching this morning. God, I pray that you will remind my friends that you are the protector of our hearts and our minds. Help them to be joyful in all circumstances and remind them that you are always with them. We love you, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everybody, it is my favorite time of our lesson. It's time for Bible Broadcast. I am super excited about this verse this week. It, of course, comes right from our lesson this morning, and it is from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 4. So it's that very first verse that we read, which says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Okay, now you know with Bible Broadcast, all you gotta do is memorize this scripture, have your parent record you saying the scripture, send it on over to us at One Kids, and we will post your video at the end of our video next week. It's so much fun to see our friends and to hide the word of God in our hearts. And this is really a great one to remember, to rejoice in the Lord always, at all times. So I want you to try your hardest this week to memorize that scripture, okay? Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. Hang tight, we do have some discussion questions for you and your family that will be posted at the end of this video. But we can't thank you enough for joining us. I hope everybody has a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Ephesians chapter six, verse 11. Put on the full armor of God so you can take a stance against the devil's tricks. Ephesians six, 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you may take your stand against the devil's schemes. Woo! Um, yeah. Ephesians six eleven. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Eyes with wonder, for every young in your love is freedom so With you, no moment is wasted. Nobody know what to do. Let's go. The cloud, black and white, turns the color all around. All is new in the Savior I am found. This is living now. This is living now. You lead the way, got your right. Beside me in 
complete There's nothing like living with you It's like you